Hi everybody, so here's step two and um, what actually happened a minute ago was that um, my camera went to sleep and um, so I started painting. So I've quickly done another sketch to show you and in fact maybe this is a better sketch because I'm showing you um, perspective. So we have to think about that. So perspective, we're on the ground. So if we're on the ground, then all of this underneath here is kind of darker. So you wanna you wanna respect that, that that will be your darker shades, okay? Darker, it's gonna be a bit darker here. Of course, we never know. And sometimes the magic of watercolor um, really uh, changes all the time so uh, and you see I've, I've drawn off my page so you get this feeling of movement don't limit yourself to your borders okay because you will uh, see this going to help you to get your sketch really nice so we are underneath we're on the ground so all this is darker because it's shadowed right so if you look at that, I'm on the ground, I'm looking up, and, and pretty much everything is gonna be dark because we're under, and this is the bright thing. And I want you to keep that sense of a big sky. So again, this is your uh, lovely space in between the flowers, okay? And this is your sky, so horizon lines, usually one third up see so a third one third here we go let's say one third one third one third so never 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 write across the board if you do something across the board you're left with something um for example like um this okay you got flowers here flowers here flowers here flowers flowers and this is kind of boring so you want to give it some atmosphere atmosphere is everything so that being said let's just have some fun step two we're going to add some clean water and this is my clean water clean water paper towel clean palette somewhat clean let me just wipe that yellow off and I'm going to go light to dark so what I really want to do is I want to think about the colors I'm using I'm just going to take a minute and pull my colors out a bit here I have some nice old paint. I never throw anything out in an ice cube tray. Um, it's a very handy thing to keep your um, to keep your colors. And look at this gorgeous, clean, nice, fresh, ooh, permanent yellow, permanent yellow, really nice color. And I think over there, yes, if I'm not mistaken, I might have some lemon yellow. And that's just because I'm feeling a little punchy right now. I know I gave you your specifics, but hey, it's your world. You can do what you want. So let's put in some nice bright. So we want to think about the sun. First thing we're going to think about is where is the sun shining? It seems to be everywhere on this painting. So let's first start with some sunshine. Clean water. As you see, I have my clean water. And I have, once again, my two brushes that I like to use. And I always seem to have a sponge hanging around. So I take too much water. I don't know if you can see that. And I just tap it on the sponge. And it takes the water off for me. Clean water. And let's just lay some water down. So um, let's say in our mind that this is all sunshine. Sunshine on the water makes me happy <laughs> i'm not the best singer in the world but what the heck we want to have a good time it's a luminous and poppies are generally red uh, but we want to keep that fresh brightness so i'm just doing something completely different from my original plan because i'm feeling a little restricted um as you know right now we have this issue with COVID-19. And my water is a little stained, so you can see how I'm putting in the water, okay? Now, let's just take some of that gorgeous yellow. Let's get that yellow and just drop it in now. Oh yeah. And let that yellow kind of 
embrace the luminosity, I don't know what you want to call it, luminosity of, and don't forget to catch it, it's going to come rolling down because I like to paint on a slant. It doesn't matter where it goes, let's just put that yellow somewhere because it is sunshine, right? Sunshine. And we're looking at um, beautiful poppies, could be yellow, they could be orange, they could be pink, whatever color you want. So the idea is spontaneous, right? And as you see, I have put the yellow in. I'm just having a bit of fun and blot it up. Who cares? This is your world. Have a little fun. Clean water. Let's move that yellow over there. And let's get that Mrs. Rigger over there and clean water. Let's pull out some pink. There we go. You want to always have nice, juicy, juicy, juicy colors. So here we go. I hope you can see that. I'm pulling it over from the far side of my palette. So I'm just going to pop in some of that gorgeous, juicy color. And my paints are somewhat dried. I have to confess, I have not been painting so much. I'm going to flatten my, my palette a bit because I just uh, feel like maybe I'm just trying too hard to uh, convey what I'm doing. But, uh, or maybe that's not the right thing I want to say. Um, but um, you want to be sure to leave some white spots, okay? Always leave some white spots. Don't be afraid. It's your painting. It is your beautiful world. And we're just going to pop in those beautiful colors. And maybe a little bit here where it's a little bit darker. Look at that. Okay, something there. And we always got to remember, we always have to remember, maybe to soften a bit. So softening means taking a clean brush and just soften. So soften, soften. Let me just pull that up. Look at that. See that? That's softening. A little water. Not too much water. What happens with too much water? Let's take that up. And don't forget, water finds itself, okay? So, you never know how things will turn out. The most important thing I want you to do is have a good time, okay? So we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna let these colors merge. And who doesn't love to see colors merge? And the most important thing too, you wanna have a little contrast, okay? So contrast. Look at that, so beautiful. Oh yeah, darkness. Don't forget that light, put a little yellow, little peach color. Doesn't hurt, a little more peach color. Why not? Hmm? Peach color, mix your two colors. This is your world and you are the designer of your world. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Let me just tilt that. I hope it doesn't make a big noise. I'm going to tilt my painting up. Yeah, look at that. Let it happen. Who knows? And who really cares? The most important thing is that you are having fun. Having fun is the most important thing. And you can connect your colors, right? Connect them. If you don't connect them, what happens is, we don't know. And you'll never know unless you try. How about that one? And there you go. Soften, clean brush, little rubba rubba. And here we go. Why not? Why not? Hmm? I'm not going to put anything there because I think that 
we need to, um, let's bring in some light there. Here, let's put that down. Getting a good look at that. Look at that color. Uh-oh, I think I've tilted it too much. Hope you can still see it. Let's put a little dark. Why are we gonna put some dark? Let's put some dark while it's still a little wet. A little dark. Take some of that Alzerian crimson we talked about. Hmm? some of that perfect yellow we have in there. Put it in there. Can't be too pale, right? We're gonna really define our shapes later. Most important thing now is that you put in your background, you put in your colors, and, and let those colors merge. Don't forget to soften. Don't forget to soften. Soften, yeah. pink in there, yeah. Let's make that flower heading out this way a bit more, hmm? A little bit of magenta in there. Give it some chance to move. Soften, soften, soften. Remember, water seeks its own level. So here we go. Let's let water seek its own level. The beauty of watercolor. like this one here very much. Don't forget this one here too. Nice, interesting. Bring your colors down. Don't confuse yourself with separation. Okay, because we're trying to get this feeling of perspective, right? There we go. That feels better to me. I hope it feels better to you. So here we go. Let's put some more yellow. Mm. What I like to do is now while this is taking its sweet time to dry, I like to make little squares of color just to give it some imaginary connection. Yeah. We're going to wait for that. Maybe a little bit here. Oh, that one. Let's bring that one there again. Why not? Just to find that beautiful puppy. Now, it might be confusing you, um, I think, maybe, is that you are, um, you know, you are, you are seeing, we need to let this dry, okay? We do need to let this dry. I could keep going, but I fear if I keep going, 
So the next stage looks nice and messy. Nice and messy. First thing I'm going to do, so you can see, is I am going to tilt it again. Let's put it upside down. Look at those beautiful colors. How about this? How about this? How about this? What I want to teach to everyone is to enjoy their painting. We know that this is yellow. Nothing is written in stone. So we're going to let that dry, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to start to fill in our spaces. We did a wallpaper. Hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you soon.